Hi, I'm Jeff Bihari, curator of RGS Electromechanical Museum. Today we're moving away from electrical history and straight into early UV history. What I have here is an Alpine sun lamp from the 1920s. And this was one of the first commercial UV lamps that was available. And what makes it unusual, first the cost, it cost more than a car in the 1930s, and also the fact that the bulb contains over a pound of liquid mercury. And what makes this bulb unique is that not only was it sold for tanning purposes, it had its own magazine in the 1920s where they were outlining different new techniques of using ultraviolet. For example, water for purification and for killing bacteria. And to operate the bulb is very dangerous. I'm putting down my face shield and I'll tilt the bulb in its housing. And something very similar to a welding arc forms inside. Now this bulb is very dangerous, not only the quantity of mercury, but the fact that it's a high pressure inside and it operates at over 1100 degrees. So anything like a fingerprint on the bulb could actually cause it to explode while it was operating. At RGF, personnel have over 50 years experience with UV light. And we've come a long way since the Alpine sun lamp in the 1920s. And some of this technology can be seen in our HVAC products, such as RGF's Blue QR.